Hi and welcome. My name is Dr. Paul Toot, President and Founder of National Pre-Med Consulting and author of the book, Acing the Medical School Admission Process. Today I would like to welcome you as we talk about how to distinguish yourself as an applicant in the medical school admission process. Today we will be talking about why it matters. Why is it necessary for you to distinguish yourself? We'll also look at how you can stand out from the crowd of the other medical school applicants out there. We'll give you specific steps that you can take right now to start distinguishing yourself. And then we're going to look at how all of this is going to benefit you during the medical school admission process. So let's get started. I would like to just congratulate you for taking the time to invest in yourself because you are showing a level of commitment that is to be admired. So I know that you're going to benefit from what we're about to share today. The medical school application pool is extremely large. Anyone who has applied to medical school or is interested in applying to medical school is fully aware that it is an extremely competitive process. Last year, there were over 42,000 applicants to the allopathic schools in America. Of these 42,000 applicants, approximately 18,000 were accepted. That is well below 50%. So the medical school application pool is large and extremely competitive. You need to distinguish yourself because there's only a limited number of seats like we just alluded to, and you want one of those seats. Your goal as an applicant is to get an interview and then to get accepted to medical school. In order to get into medical school, you must first get an interview. And in order to get an interview, you must first be noticed. And the easiest and best way of being noticed is by distinguishing yourself from the remainder or the rest of the application pool. Your ability to distinguish yourself may be the limiting factor in your overall success in the medical school application process. So this is a topic that you need to take seriously and think very strategically about. Now, how to stand out as a medical school applicant from the rest of the crowd? Well, the first thing you need to do is you need to be authentic. You need to realize that no one can be a better you than you. And your greatest asset is in being yourself. You need to discover your own uniqueness because your individuality is your best uniqueness. Your ability to say, I am different because is extremely important as a medical school applicant. You know, many people out there believe the myth that medical schools are only interested in grades, MCAT scores, research papers, and whether or not you follow a physician or get clinical experience. But that is a myth. Medical schools are looking for individuals that they will be proud of. They're looking for individuals that at the end of your matriculation through the medical school, they want to point at you and say, this physician graduated from our medical school and we're proud of him. And in order for that to occur, then they need to find individuals who have the personality and the ability and the uniqueness that they want. I want you to live your life from this day forward as an opportunity to be unique. I want you to look at each day as an opportunity for you to exhibit and display your uniqueness. Now, I must give you a word of advice here. I want to caution you from just trying to be different for the sake of being different. That is not being real. That is actually being a fake. If you're just going to be different because you don't want to be like anybody else and you're not being true to yourself, then that is disingenuous. You are special and unique just the way you are. Here are some steps that you can take right now that will help you to distinguish yourself. Step one is discover what made you unique up until this point. 
So what I want you to do right now is I want you to just pause for a second and think about three or more times in your life when you stood out, when others around you looked at you and, and complimented you on your ability, on your strengths, on your talents. I want you to seriously think about those times and then I want you to write those down because within those moments you will discover your uniqueness. You will discover what you're good at, what you stand out at, what you're exceptional at and that's what I want you to focus on. Then step two, I want you to talk to your friends and your relatives. It could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, your aunt, your uncle, your parents. I want you to ask them in a very candid way, what is it about me that you think makes me different, special, or unique? And I want you to pay special attention. And then after you got that advice, I want you to then focus on your strengths. I want you to accentuate your strengths. I want you now to say, okay, if I am good in area A, B, and C, then I want you to do more of A, B, and C. Then this is the million dollar point. I want you to then take those strengths that you have in area A, B, and C, and I want you to align those with the field of medicine. Now, what do I mean? Let us use the example of someone that is good in the field of arts. I want you then to see how you can use your skills in the field of art and use that to display your interest in medicine. And what you will find is that not only will you be good at it, but you will find out that you're enjoying it. And that is very, very important because some of the benefits that we're talking about right now of standing out is one, you'll be more memorable. People will remember you because you'll be doing things that you're good at. How many times have you been around someone that is real? They're themselves. They're enjoying life. Don't you remember that person? Don't you find yourself being attracted to that person? Well, guess what? That's going to happen with you. You will be more memorable. You will have more fun during the application process. Why will you have more fun? Because you will be doing the things that you want to do. You will be actually having fun <laughs> during the application process when your colleagues are getting stressed out. By separating yourself from the pack, the stress level goes down during the application process and you can focus more on the things that you need to achieve. Another benefit is your self-confidence goes up. Because you are doing things that you enjoy, things that are familiar to you, and things that you know you're good at. These are all benefits to being real, being authentic, and doing things that you enjoy. And the biggest prize of all is if you can display that enthusiasm that you have for the things that you love. And you can um, give that energy off in your personal statement, in your... Uh, letters of recommendation, if you can give that energy off to those around you, guess what? Chances are that energy will be felt. That enthusiasm, that love for life, and that joy, that realness will be felt by the individuals who are reading your application and they are more likely to want to talk to you and want to give you a chance to be heard in an interview. Just by the fact that you have been real and true to yourself and you were able to distinguish yourself from the other applicants. Well, if you've been listening to us over the last few recordings that we have done, you know that at National Premier Consulting, we love to give you more than you ever thought you would receive. So we have added some bonuses. And one of the bonuses that I want to share with you today is I'm going to tell you how to align your strengths with the field of medicine. What I want you to do is think about something that you enjoy. 
And then I want you to think about an area in medicine that will benefit from something that you enjoy. If you can do that, then um, that's an example of aligning your strengths with the field of medicine. I also want you to be strategic about how you do this, but I don't want you to lose your authenticity. I don't want you to be conniving or try to game the system. I want you to be real because if you're real and passionate, that will come through. This is the greatest secret of all that I want you to remember. I want you to have a third party evaluate you. I want you to, every three weeks or so, ask someone, how am I doing? Ask them that question again. What do you think of my strengths? What do you think of my weakness? Am I real? Am I being consistent? And I want you also to reevaluate yourself. Now, at National Premier Consulting, we do this for our clients. We give them specific goals, and then we go over those goals, and we, we help them to be motivated by encouraging and by keeping them focused on the task at hand. At National Premier Consulting, we love to work with passionate, energetic, real people who want to benefit the field of medicine in a positive way. So feel free to contact us and we'll be happy to work with you and help you distinguish yourself and become the superstar applicant that we know you can be during the application process. Well, I want to thank you so much for joining us and I want to encourage you to contact us. You can reach us at www.nationalpremedconsulting.com. You can also reach us on Facebook at Facebook slash National Premed Consulting. And I want to encourage you to join our Facebook family and like us today and become a friend of ours today. We share all of our articles, blogs, all of our free uh, webinars and gifts we all offer on Facebook. So please, in advance, I want to thank you for uh, joining us on Facebook. And also tell a friend about us. You can follow us on Twitter at Premed Coach, and my Facebook page is Dr. Paul Toot. Once again, I want to thank you so much for investing the time in yourself. If you're listening to me right now, you are the real deal. You are committed to your success. And like I tell all of my clients, I know that if you're committed to your success, success will be committed to you. And I want to encourage you, success to you, success to you.